I'm a champion for the internet. I think it's very important for especially elderly people because when you can't go out on your feet, you can go out on the internet and you can keep in touch with society. You can Skype with your grandchildren, get new friends on Facebook and take part in debate on Twitter and you can be part of society. I'm just teaching here. And I have had 18 courses for people over the age of 80. The oldest one was 95 years old. The most important thing is their will to learn. Every night I put some pictures on Facebook and say goodnight to my friends. And I have several friends who are lonely people and they are very glad to have someone saying good night to them. Stuka, which is a public company, 100% owned by the city of Stockholm. Uh, what we do is provide dark fiber, ducts and fiber, uh, within the whole of the city of Stockholm region. Uh, and then we make it possible for companies to rent that fiber, uh, for all companies to rent that fiber, and sell services to the citizens and the companies in the Stockholm area. The company started 20 years ago uh, with the idea to provide fiber solutions to all of the stockholders. This is the city of Stockholm. We are, the fiber is everywhere, below, below, below the streets and uh, beneath us. Today, 90% uh, of all houses within the city of Stockholm and almost 100% of all companies in the city of Stockholm are fiber to connected. I actually was a member of the board when the company was inaugurated in 1994. Stockholm needed a network that was uh, independent because we had one great player in Stockholm that was Telia, the telephone company, and they had a monopoly. So we wanted to sort of uh, have something that could give companies the possibility to rent the capacity that they needed. I think that the situation that we have in Stockholm today with all these IT companies, with startups, with gaming, one of the biggest hubs for gaming industry in the world actually, uh, we would never have had the possibility to have that if it hasn't been for the uh, fact that we, had, we started the company in 1994. All the political Political parties agreed that this is something we should do for Stockholm. We know that thanks to Stockholm's success to build the dark fiber, we know that companies choose to have their headquarters in Stockholm. The Stockholm government owns the public company and it's opened. We build black fiber in, in our roads. It's basic infrastructure, but it's open for other companies to sell the things we, we have in the, in the broadband, for sure. Bono, the main business what we are doing is to provide broadband access to all parts of Sweden. We are a big network operator. We provide thousands and thousands of households with internet connection by high-speed internet uh, cables. What makes us unique is that we are not the biggest telco. We are not the small, small company either, but the possibility, the Swedish market is based on competition. The market is not only operated by private enterprise, it's also operated by the public sector. And I think the combination of those two is good because if you are in the private sector, you tend to deliver all stuff, but the public sector is more focused. We have over 70 e-services that really help the life quality for our citizens. You can do nearly anything with our e-services. For example, you can book childcare, or you can even book a wedding ceremony in this beautiful city hall. 
And I would say most of them are true e-services. They both help uh, the citizens in the city of Stockholm, but they also streamline our internal processes. We're aiming to be a smart city, and that goes on everything. Smart homes, uh, smart childcare, um, care for our elder, also smart streets and smart parks, and there are endless of possibilities. And this would not be possible without the dark fiber we have in Stockholm. It is rather unique. Thank you.